To use the Apple Core Beam and Block Floor accessory, firstly ensure that it's loaded into the Library Manager and the Accessories add-on has been installed. Select a slab element in the Floor Plan view and select the Slab Accessories from the Design Extras menu. If you have more than one accessory type loaded, select the Beam and Block object and press OK to continue to place the accessory object. Now the original slab and the object are both present in the project. Let's look at the object settings. The first page of the options controls the structured display of the floor. Individual components can be turned on and off and set the correct dimensions of each. The position of the accessory to the slab element can also be controlled relative to either the top or base of the slab. The slab itself could therefore be used as a finish to the slab accessory. As the slab's boundary is adjusted, the accessory will also be updated. Now we can add a void and see how that affects the 3D view of the element. The second settings page controls the beam positions and dimensions. Changing the beam centers will only affect new beams, for example, where the size of the floor slab is increased. To apply the new centers to all existing beams, click the reset button underneath. Additionally, individual beam positions can be offset and the direction of the beams can be controlled. Now I'll offset the origin position and rotate the beam direction. We can see the result in the 3D window. I'll also offset the positions of a couple of the beams individually. The third settings page controls the blocks. Again, the dimensions can be adjusted and a reset button applies the new settings to the existing beam centers. Where beams have been positioned closely together, Options are available to rotate the blocks, or completely remove them. To do this, reactivate these options and enter the beam spacing at which the blocks will be affected. So that we can see this more clearly, the partial structure display setting can be used to hide the finishes. We can see these blocks have now been rotated between this, these offset beams and these blocks have been completely removed. Individual blocks can also be removed in the 3D window using the visibility hotspots. Drag the hotspots above the top of the floor system to remove these slabs. Finally, beams and blocks can be extended beyond the floor slab's boundary if required. The remaining settings pages control the 2D, sectional and 3D display of the object. 